Welcome back to the channel, folks. I have something very, very special. The first ever unbagging of the Monster Bass Regional Pro Box. That's right, unbagging. No more boxes coming to your house. So last month I talked to you about why I was basically tired of doing unboxings. And well, it's not because I don't like getting cool fishing tackle in the mail, but it is because of something really cool that Monster Bass started doing this month with the Regional Pro Box. And it is a bag. And not just some bag that you can't do anything with. This actually is a reusable bag that zippers close that you can store your fishing tackle in. So starting this month, every month, you'll be getting your box, that thing, in a bag sent directly to your door. So let's go in deep on what came in this month's bag. So in this month's bag, let's see what we got. First and foremost, you're gonna have a little brochure that actually tells you about everything that is in the bag. Uh, suggested MSRP, total MSRP for this particular bag, they got it valued at $59. Also kind of tells a little bit about why they've changed to the bag. And a little sneak peek of next month's box, which I'm really looking forward to, and that is the classic box. It's where every single bait in that box will be a Bassmaster Classic winner. And actually, one of the baits coming in this box has not been produced for some time, and we and Monster Bass was actually able to convince the company to bring it back uh, from the dead, so to speak. We got Pro Tip from Burley Fishing, uh, who's a Michigander. Also, if you use hashtag the better bag, uh, you can win a gift card. So pretty cool there. One thing that has been fairly new in the last couple uh, boxes slash bag is this really big MB sticker. Uh, it's literally the size of my hand, so that is awesome. So let's dig into what's actually in the box, or the bag. It's going to take me a while to get used to saying bag instead of box, but stick with me here. First up, we have a variety pack from Spearpoint Hooks. Spearpoint Hooks is a new brand on the market. I'm actually looking forward to trying their drop shot hook, hopefully in the near future, um, that shape that's back here might be really, really nice for us out here on St. Clair. Nose hooking soft plastics while drop shotting for smallmouth. Um, their EWG hook looks really, really nice as well. That interesting bend might be nice um, for uh, certain soft plastics where I normally use an EWG. This is kind of that little in-between hybrid uh, style hook. I kind of like it. So first up in the box, we're going to have a jerk bait. This is from Baker Lures. Um, it's just a pretty basic jerkbait, nothing special. It's in a nice productive looking color. Should catch a lot of smallmouth up here in Michigan where I'm located here in the Midwest. Next up, we have the Bass Bullets crankbait. Now this is kind of, of a, uh, a shad body deep diving bait. It's gonna have a nice tight wiggling action on it as well. So that could be very productive, you know, in the late March to early April period um, as the ice leaves and things begin to warm up. Could be a nice productive bait out here on the big water. The next crankbait we got is a Booyah Hard Knocker in a crawfish pattern. They call this Tiger Crawl. I really like this pattern. And this is actually the three quarter ounce now, a lot of you um, out here on St. Clair may remember the XR50 and the XR75. Essentially, these are still those. They've just adjusted the colors for a little bit, and they have a one-knocker version of it, but essentially are the same lipless bait as the XR50 and XR75. Um, Excalibur is no longer around, and Booyah, they kind of took those, crank, those lipless cranks and put them in the Booyah name. 
So next up, we have some soft plastics. This is from Excite Baits. This is actually their high floater. And I'm actually really intrigued by this bait, mainly because it is essentially a soft plastic jerk bait with a curly tail. And that's going to have a lot of action to it, but it's their high floater. And essentially, this is going to be like a lizard or a creature bait without the appendages on the body. So this could be fished on a Carolina rig out here on St. Clair or for your largemouth on Inland Lakes. And it could be a sleeper cold water assassin out here on Lake St. Clair. I cannot wait to try this. Next up, we have Big Bites Baits with a finesse swimmer it's not a finesse by size but just more of the thickness of it i'm guessing is where they get the name from i love that it comes in a nice hard clam pack like this keeps everything nice and neat uh, they call this color baby brim but this is going to catch a lot of fish out here on saint Clair. so Coming around that late April period, um, I, I start to throw swim baits like this quite a bit. And I absolutely love um, that flake that's in here. Uh, I forget what they call it off the top of my head, but it basically disappears. And then at the right angle, it lights back up. You should be able to see that just a little bit on the camera. Really tough to see. There we go. Just disappears and shows back up. Just a really, really nice detail um, on that one. Last but not least, actually, no, we got one more thing after this. Sorry. Uh, from Thunderhawk, we have a really nice. Sorry about that. The battery actually died in my camera. So let's talk about the second to last thing in this month's bag. This is a creature bait from Thunder Hawk Lures. Uh, they call this color Black Magic, and I'm actually digging this color for a couple reasons. One, it's a smoke, but if you look really closely, it's red, silver, and a little bit of purple in there. So just a really nice, basic creature bait will work well for flipping, punching, as a jig trailer, you know, you can pinch it off right here and it actually make a really nice jig, a jig, jig trailer. And the reason I bring that up is because of the last item that is in this month's bag. And that is a Tommy Biffle junkyard jig. Now, if you ask me, Tommy Biffle resembles something, and I just can't put my finger on it, but maybe you know what that is. Let me know down in the comments. But the Junkyard Jig, I'm going to open this up here. It's actually a fairly unique jig. Um, one thing that I like right off the bat is the fact that you have a double cham chamber rattle right on it. And it's not too loud, just the right amount of sound. And then you have a nice, big, wide bend hook on it, like so. This is a watermelony green kind of color. They're calling this green pumpkin. So it's a green pumpkin watermelon. It's a very see-through green pumpkin, but I do like it. The skirt on it is a little thicker than I like, but it should do well. But one thing that is nice about this jig is that it's going to sit up perfectly on the bottom, just like that. So you could... In theory, shorten up that Thunderhawk creature bait, thread that on, and there you go. And I also almost forgot, if you look in here just close enough, you do have a soft plastic keeper as well. So that's going to do it for the February Monster Bass Midwest Regional Box. Now, you might be asking yourself, Justin, where's the blade baits? Why isn't there more jigs in here? It's March in Michigan. What are we doing? We're usually ice fishing. So Rick and the gang adjusted the box slightly and gave us some stuff that we can fish in the upcoming months up here in Michigan, both for largemouth and smallmouth bass. And if you're like me who likes to chase other species other than just bass, 
that three quarter ounce lipless crankbait will work really, really good on Northern Pike. And believe it or not, that Excite bait will work really good on Northern Pike when they're up shallow spawning. So if you're able to fish the spawning Northern Pike here in Michigan, cause you're on the Great Lakes waterways, just a nice little pro tip for you. Give that bait a try. So let me know down in the comments, what do you guys think of the Monster Bass bag? Do you like the idea of actually giving you a little more value for your money, something that you can use day in and day out on the water, on the bank, throw it in a backpack. Let me know, what do you think of the bag? And also, be sure to go over to the Monster Bass YouTube channel. I'm actually gonna go and show you just how many bags of soft plastics you can stuff inside this new bag that you got this month from Monster Bass. So, as always guys, tight lines, happy casting. We'll see you in the next video. And becoming the best at it and mastering myself and seeing what I have within me. If you decide to drop your buckets where you are and develop your gifts, I grant you, you'll never ever be without. I grant you that your gifts will take you places that will literally amaze you.